As a homeowner, it is important that you know where your shutoff valves are located and how to operate them. For water supplies, locate the main water shutoff valve. In this home, the main shutoff is located in a utility closet between the water heater and water softener. For this main shutoff, simply turn the lever so it is perpendicular to the pipe. This stops the flow of water to the entire house. In addition to the main shutoff valve, be familiar with the individual shutoff valves, known as isolating valves, at your washing machine, sinks, and toilets. If water is spilling onto your floors, then time is of the essence to prevent damage. Exterior faucets may also have isolating valves, but because of their exterior nature, these valves are not located at the faucet itself. Instead, they can be under a nearby interior sink or near the main water shutoff. You should also know the location of your gas shutoff valve, but please note, if you suspect a gas leak, leave your home immediately and call your utility company. In many homes, the gas shutoff is located at the gas meter. A wrench is needed to turn the gas off and on. In this home, there's a second gas shutoff located in the garage. Similar to our main water shutoff, this gas supply line has a lever that rotates 90 degrees. When the lever is in line with the pipe, gas is flowing. When the lever is perpendicular to the pipe, the gas is shut off. There are also two smaller levers. These feed individual appliances in the home. In this case, they send gas to a furnace and a fireplace. These appliances also have isolating valves at the units themselves. If you shut off your gas supply, keep in mind that pilot lights on appliances will go out. This includes pilot lights for appliances such as furnaces, fireplaces, and water heaters. Once you turn the gas supply back on, be sure to relight your pilot lights. If you have any questions about this process, call Property 360 at 855-932-3784.